How to put your WordPress website in maintenance mode. Easy tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you're supposed to put your WordPress website in maintenance mode when you are not understanding how to set it up. Because oftentimes when you're customizing your website or even building your website, your website is out there, it is live but you have not built it yet and your potential customers, clients, or viewers might see that haphazardly created website and they might feel like you're not as professional as you probably are. So for that, WordPress has some simple ways that you can put it in maintenance mode. So you will actually be able to edit your website and preview it as a normal website, but your customers or your clients will be only seeing the maintenance mode page and they will not be able to access the rest of the website. So this will enable you full control over how to customize your website while it is still in the works and still keeping your customers or, you know, putting or, you know, putting snippets of your website with your customers trying to visit it and be interactive with your website. So the first way to put your website in maintenance mode is that when you are using Elementor, so a lot of people use Elementor, that is why I am going to be giving this as a first example. Now, if you go into Elementor, you can simply click on tools over here and you can click on maintenance mode. Now you can click on create one, which is a template that you must create for the maintenance mode. So you can see over here that we have created our simple little template. You can add multiple different options. You also have screen options and you can even edit with Elementor to give it a more premium feel. If you want your you know, page to have a more premium feel, then you can edit with Elementor. However, adding a simple phrase is good enough as well for most websites. Now, once you have added that simple phrase, you're just going to go on back to your Elementor tools. So you're going to click on Elementor, click on tools, and then you're going to click on maintenance mode. Now from disabled, you're actually going to choose maintenance. And once you do that, you can choose the access. Now don't choose logged in, instead choose custom. And from custom, select your administrators, editors, authors maybe, and shop managers. So maybe you don't want subscribers or contributors or customers to be able to access that website at that specific time, simply because it won't be ready. So you want to only enable it for these people. You don't want to enable it for the rest of your subscriber base or your customer base. That is why you're supposed to set it on custom. Then you're just going to select the template that you just created. So you I saw that I just created this template over here and I'm just going to select this template and I'm going to click on save changes and now once you save those changes you will actually see a red lock on your WordPress login so you'll be able to know when your website is under maintenance mode simply by this and if I click on visit site over here so currently I'm logged on with this device. That is why it's actually showing me the website. However, if I was to log on via a third party device or a third party browser, then it would actually not be able to show me my website. So I was just going to the home, click on visit site over here and click on copy. And then I can paste it on another browser like this. And if I go on with a different browser, then I will not be able to access my website because it will show me the little maintenance message that we have. Now, you can choose a simple message like this one, or you can uh, go on ahead and edit a template. Now, what if you're not using Elementor? What do you do in that situation? So you have your website and you're not using Elementor. So I will turn off the Elementor maintenance mode and I will show you guys how to turn on maintenance mode on any kind of website. So it doesn't matter what kind of platform you're using. You can turn on maintenance mode in this method. For that, you're just going to click on plugins on the bottom left. And with your plugins, you're going to click on add new. Once you click on add new, you're going to click on search plugins. So you're simply just going to search for maintenance over here. And once you do that, you will be able to see multiple different plugins available. 
So you're just going to select the CMP coming soon and maintenance page plugins by Neatio Themes. This is the one I like to use. It's super effective and easy to use. And once you've added this plugin, you can go into your installed plugins and you're going to click on activate for this specific plugin. So once you have activated your plugin, you can click on CMP settings from your plugins or just simply click on CMP settings over here. And you can see over here when you want to enable or disable this plugin. So let's say that I want the whole website to currently be in maintenance mode and I can put it on maintenance mode. And you can also choose a redirect mode and you can put in a second website URL where your customers and clients will be redirected to if you have another website or maybe you want to relink them to your social media platform or to your Facebook platform, whatever it might be. Or you can put in a standard coming soon and landing page page response so we want to put it on maintenance mode and then below that you have multiple different themes that you can choose from as well then you're just going to click on save all changes over here and that is it now your website can be put in your uh, maintenance mode now you also have other options where you're going to be able to customize this so you actually have your logo set up and i already have this set up however you can put in a text logo graphic logo or disable any kind of logo and then you can put in all the content information and this enables you to put in a beautiful maintenance mode template like this one i have over here it looks gorgeous and it provides your customers with a more professional look you can add multiple different media options you have access to videos as well you can put in a youtube video so if I go on to YouTube over here and maybe I want to put in a specific video like this. So let's just say I want to put in this video as the background for my maintenance mode and I will just simply click on paste over here and I will click on save all changes. And now once this has been uh, completed, I can click on preview. And now our background is currently being changed, so it is being set up and it's going to show me how it's going to look like. So this is my a video source and this is the library. You can add a solid color or a gradient or disable any kind of overlay and blur the video a little if you want because it is serving as more so your background instead of serving as your primary mode. Now you will be able to see that they indicate that your website is in maintenance mode simply by the top right over here so you can turn it off and on from here and it's very simple and easy to look at and you can see this is the current look of our website and if we refresh it over here You'll be able to see all of the video it's just loading as it usually would so this is how you're supposed to put your wordpress website in maintenance mode using elementor or using the cmp maintenance mode plugin i would recommend for most people to use the cmp maintenance mode plugin simply because it makes it look a lot more attractive and it gives your customers or potential customers and leads a far more professional look than a normal Elementor maintenance mode page. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.